Do y'all remember Linda Stevens? Just a few days ago, I posted a video where she claimed that she lost $600 in an ATM at the bank. Uh, the bank refused to help her, and they called the cops on her. And, of course, the cops took her in, and she spent the day in jail and got roughed up pretty badly, and now she's suing the bank. I'll post a link in the description below of the previous video. And I said at the time, something was not adding up. Well, we now hear from the bank a little bit. And uh, we're going to have to make a choice as to who to believe. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Yet, when she got off of the phone, she said to me, she said, you're still going to have to give us two or three days to get your money in your account. So when the manager uh, had come over to the office and she had another lady with her and there was a police officer who came and stood directly to my right in the back of me. And she said, you just need to go ahead and leave and, and we'll get your money straightened out. And I had to tell her the story as well. And so, as we were sitting there and I said, I just want my money, I need to pay my bill. I want my money, that's all I want. I said, I gave you cash money. I said, I didn't put checks in the machine. I put cash money in the machine. I just want my money. I said, that's all I want from in Florida. Yes. So she said, if you don't calm down, we're gonna have to call the popo. So, we were sitting there talking and I don't know what happened, but then in a few minutes later, another police officer came in the room with his hand on his gun and said, I thought I heard her say, I have a gun and I'm going to shoot you. I said, what are you talking about? The most painful part of that was, was that an office, office manager, that head teller, that other lady that was in there, the police officer standing next to me, nobody said nothing. I was the only one to speak up for myself. And I said last time that it's probably because you were shouting and hollering and they probably couldn't get a word in edgewise. I'm guessing. Could think when he came in with his hand on his gun was that my life was in danger. My life was being threatened. But he was ready to take action because he thought, I said, sir, I don't have a gun. I said, I never owned a gun. I said, I never even shot a gun. What in the world are you talking about? Are you crazy? And he said to me, if you say the word gun one more time, I'm going to arrest you. All right, now, listen to what she says next. And I turned around and looked up at him and I said, God, he said, you stand up and I'm arrest you. And he snatched my purse. He handcuffed me behind. So all she did was just say, gun. Okay, that's her story. We don't know. We weren't there. But let's read what the other side is saying. It says here. The police report, initially reported by Credit Union Times, described the incident differently. According to the police report, Stevens was yelling and arguing with employees and was invited into a manager's office to discuss her concerns. However, she allegedly continued to yell and was informed that if she continued, the police would be called, and they were. So she was talking first about that other police officer. That was the security guard. Stevens was advised by the employees that they did not want to have to trespass her, but that she needed to leave. Well, she didn't mention that. According to the bank, and again, I mean, you know, this is one side of the story here. They told her that she had to leave and she refused. Okay. At that point, yeah, the police can take action. They made multiple requests to get her to leave. 
according to the police report. The defendant raised her voice and began screaming about a gun. I advised her that we were in a bank and that she had to stop screaming about a gun. Kind of like yelling about a bomb, I guess, in an airport. I don't know. She immediately raised her voice, became louder, and began to repeatedly scream, gun, 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 over and over. Police arrested Stevens for disorderly conduct. So, two completely different stories here. She said that, well, all I just said was, gun, and they arrested me. They're saying that she was screaming the word over and over again. And by the way, and I mentioned it last time, why didn't she just go to the loan agent? Her mortgage was through that bank. You have to at least try. I mean, that's exactly what I would have done. If I have a loan through that bank, then my mortgage is there, then the bank is screwed up and I can't get my money, I'm going to the loan agent saying, hey, look, look what's happened here. Can you work with me a little? So the question now becomes, uh, which is more likely? And I'll be honest with you, I think she's lying. I, I really do. I think that Benjamin Crump got a hold of her, saw a really juicy payday, and basically coached her to sort of elevate what took place there because he wants to settle. Keep in mind, they might have 20 witnesses inside that saw the whole thing. He knows she doesn't stand a chance in court because those witnesses will take the stand. However, he also knows that Mid-Florida is going to get raked through the coals publicly until the trial, so he knows that he can extort money from them. So that's what I think is going on. He doesn't care if she's lying, and he doesn't care if there are witnesses that can dispel it. Just the threat of a lawsuit and the bad PR is enough to get them to cave. I could be wrong. We'll see. I'll, I'll get on here and apologize if I am, but I wouldn't put my money on it. Like my video, subscribe to my channel.